At the IABG Clean Room near Munich, Germany, the LISA Pathfinder spacecraft, or LPF spacecraft, is undergoing its final tests before being shipped to Ariane Space in Kourou, French Guiana, for launch. The LISA Pathfinder is a groundbreaking spacecraft developed by the European Space Agency. It's a fundamental technology mission aimed at testing the concept of low-frequency gravitational wave detection, which could help us improve our knowledge of the universe. So LISA Pathfinder is very important to astrophysics because we're now opening a brand new window on the universe, and that's the window of gravitational waves. And gravitational waves allow us to look back to the very earliest regions of the universe to see stars forming and galaxies forming, allow us to measure supermassive black holes, and in essence we're measuring uh, the gravity of the universe, the fundamental force of our universe. The phenomenon of gravitational waves was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity in 1916, and they are in essence faint ripples in the fabric of space-time the echoes of cosmic events which happened long ago in a galaxy far, far away. The LPF spacecraft will be stationed in a stable orbit between Earth and the Sun at a distance of one and a half million kilometers from Earth, also known as the first Sun-Earth Lagrange point. As it floats in space, the LPF works as a container, enveloping two very dense gold platinum cubes which are put in near-perfect gravitational freefall. As these cubes move in free fall, the spacecraft measures their tiniest movements and also shields the cubes, protecting them from any unwanted external influence. Being a fundamental science mission, the LISA Pathfinder's mission is not aimed at the detection of gravitational waves, but at testing the new and innovative technologies needed for shielding the test masses, as well as making the most accurate measurements in their relative motion. For a mission such as this, it's hard to see what the day-to-day -day applications of this mission might be. We have to look back and we have to look back at the fundamental science that was done many years ago and which has day-to-day -day application nowadays. Uh, LISA Pathfinder is really opening the door of new fundamental science that will be done in the future. And in terms of uh, closer to, to Earth applications, uh, LISA Pathfinder is also changing the way in which we fly space missions. Even closer to us, the technology that we, we have used to analyze noise, analyze the uh, motions, analyze, and measure distances, this could be used for ground-based uh, applications in the near future. And so, with high expectations, the LISA Pathfinder will soon be launched into space on top of Europe's own Vega launcher. It will be the first high-quality orbiting gravitational laboratory for fundamental physics missions, confirming and perhaps even enriching our understanding of general relativity and our universe in general. This is truly a pioneering mission and shows once again that ESA is paving the way into the future.